Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here with the Pokemon Showdown Live. Today we're going to be uh, hitting up the OU ladder with this team by OMPM. I believe he got like third on the ladder with this team. I'm not sure if that was recent or during more so like OLT or anything because this looks like a team that was running around during OLT. Uh, but it's Auroraville offense and the reason I like this is because Conk uh, rose up in usage during this period when Auroraville was everywhere. So I really, really do love Conk Elder and... It should make for a fun live, pretty top of Coco week, but I do have Focus Ash Landers to thankfully deal with it, and Auroraville to actually, you know, make my mons take hits. Conqueror does not die under Auroraville, by the way. Uh, I'm still feeling relatively sick. Well, not so much sick anymore. Uh, the fever is like gone and everything. I'm just feeling congested, man. But I've been taking medicine, so hopefully that kicks in. It's gonna make me a little bit tired, which is why videos are coming late. Uh, but let's go ahead and look for some battles, and hopefully. By this weekend, I'm just able to make regular videos. Oh, he's setting up Auroraville for me. Have fun. I like his team. It's a stall-based team, but I really like it. I'm assuming Sub Kiram, uh, Rest Talk Fabio, regular Obama Snow, Subtran, or Roxtran, plus SD Gliscor. Really, really cool team. Uh, very weak to Manaphy if I set up on him, um, but so cool. Also, Cartana just kind of 6 hours. So it could be Scarf Kiram at that point. Um, if I land Hypnosis immediately, that'd be great. I'm going to lead off with Landers. I'm just going to ignore. I'm gonna, I like Landers as a lead because if I were him, I'd lead something that denies Ninetales. Like, I would definitely lead something that denies Ninetales Hazards. And that would be something like... Or Ninetales Aurora Veil. And that would be something like Heat Rain, in my opinion. So, I'm going to lead Landers. Uh, either way, it's Focus Sash, so it matches up well versus everything. If he leads off with a bomb, so I'll just go hard, Nine Tails. It could be sub seed bomb. So this is actually going to be an annoying game. But yeah, like I said, I would lead off with something like Heat Ran uh, versus this team. And I'm going to click Earthquake. I'm not going to bother predicting. Uh, especially when this guy has such a threatening team versus me. A bomb so takes a lot. Wow. Yep, and it's definitely sub seed. So, we'll get a Brox right here. On his potential leech seed. He could double back out. Yep. Doubles out to Gliscor, so I do get on my rocks, which is nice. And uh, looks like I'm hit by Hail first, which means I'm faster, so I can SD up right now. And plus two explosion is going to get me a kill. If he roosts, that's fine. I, I, I literally get me a kill right now. And I will definitely get rid of his defog or, or whatever comes in. Something right now is dying. If he has protect on it, so be it. But uh, this is his defogger. Oh, cool. It gives me a bomb of snow, which I do not mind. Especially because that means I can get up the veil now. Uh, though he can definitely go heat ran. But either way, by me going a bomb of snow or me going nine tails, it prevents him from going something like Gliscor and defogging versus me. Uh, but getting rid of a bomb of snow, really nice for Manaphy. Though I'm pretty sure plus three Z would have knocked it out anyway. But goes to Alamolo, which is not really a factor in my opinion. I can get up the Aurora Veil right now. We don't have to worry about this. Uh, toxic, I don't care too much. Do I have Ice Punch? I do have Ice Punch on Conkleder, so we'll go directly out of Conkleder right now as he goes for Wish. And this is Conkleder's time to be a pain. I could Ice Punch immediately, predicting him to want to go Gliscor, but I think Facade is my better play overall. As he red cards out, or red cards me out, into Manaphy. Ideally, well, it doesn't really matter what he does to me. I'll, I'll tail go out first, and then I'll get up the rain so his... His Toxic does not matter. Give the Rain Dance right here. That way, Hydration activates. And we're going to go right for the Z move versus Kyurem to uh, ideally knock it out. Let's see if we see leftovers, do we? No. Well, Hydro Vortex will Oko you as I live this Draco because of the Aurora Veil. And uh, Kyurem is gone. Nice. That's the only Scarf user on his team. Uh, which means that SD Cartana does win, though I did use my Z move a little bit early. At the same time, though, all he has is Rest Talk Fabio, which doesn't knock me out, and I can just surf here. Plus three in the rain. At that point, you no longer resist it, so it should be a two at KO. Correct. As he Volt switches, and uh, Aloe can't beat me, and he cannot switch into surf, so a really good game one, I feel. Which I'm pretty positive is over. Just gonna tail glow right here. Doesn't matter if he burns me, I have rain up. Aurora Veil means that's not 2 a KO either. Yep. 
that game was over. Like I said, really good game one. Um, really fast paced, which is why I like Aurora Veil. Vale. But yeah, Conk, him being a jackpot actually hurt him in this because if he was able to stay in and wish protect stall versus me, uh, it would have been a little bit harder for him to deal with. But yeah, Aurora Veil vale is just so threatening, especially when you have Pokemon like Manaphy and Conk there, which they don't see the most usage currently. They're still really good. And Conqueror, like I said, you cannot knock that Mon out when it's uh, when it's under Veil. And same thing with Manaphy, man. Base 100 across the board. Love Manaphy, man. And really happy that I'm able to use it because of the, uh, you know, obviously the Bronze Baratix announcement I did earlier. Um, Manaphy is the captain of the Bronze Baratix. Not saying I'll have it in the GBA, uh, but Manaphy being the captain of the Bronze Baratix, I think is, you know, I've always loved that Pokemon. Always love Manaphy. I originally drafted it because it was scary to play. Uh, Final Gambit team. I'm gonna lead Lando. I like Rocks up early, and if he leads, if he leads Star Raptor, hey. Why do you say Joey? Oh, he t he typed Joey wrong. Oh, my bad. I didn't even read that wrong. I just thought the 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 O was like <laughs> dripping. Thank you, friend. I appreciate that. All right, so Veil is really good versus his team, obviously. Um, if I were him, well, he didn't do anything. I'm, I'm, I'm not ignoring him. Okay, so let's look at this team real quick. Uh, SD Scissor is exceptionally good under terrain. Uh, obviously, I gotta worry about this, but besides that, it beats everything else. So I'm not worried about Slurpuff ever. Uh, Blacephalon is probably the biggest threat. I lead Star Raptor and I'd immediately try to get a kill with Final Gambit or Brave Bird. So that's why I'm gonna lead Landers. Uh, lead Slurpuff, which means that Sticky Web, I guess. I didn't even think about Sticky Web. Alright. I'm, I'm getting them up again, though. <laughs> you got me. I am getting them up again. So now he's gonna thief my item. And get the unburden. <laughs> That's cool. All right, so we'll go nine tails. Get up the veil. Really cool. Uh, I don't know why. Um, I thought more so belly drum than sticky web. Maybe because I see Rabombi more than Slurpuff. But we can get up the Aurora veil if he wants to go for thief. Oh, he doesn't have thief. Uh, so Endeavor is the only play he could really make. But either way, I do get up the veil, and he's gonna go down. So uh, yes, the. The Blacephalon could come out, or really anything, but I do have Hypnosis on this Ninetales. Do I have Encore as well? No, I don't, right? Just Hypnosis. Oh, crap. Don't be sub, bro. Don't be sub, man. So, Conqueror beats Bisharp. Can easily beat Nidoking. Um, Blacephalon actually walls my set. Hopefully he doesn't know that. I'm assuming he'd go Blacephalon right now, but... to just go for Shadow Ball and then try and Z Nightmare me. Sharp SDs. Uh, Z Manaphy is not bad. It's just that the veil. I don't think I had a way of preventing that besides hitting Hypnosis turn one versus Slurpuff. Maybe I should have went off that. Uh, typically, when I see Star Raptor, I just think Final Game Lead. I'll go for Hypnosis right here as he goes for sub. And that might be the beginning of the end. Is it? It might be. Because he can calm mind up. Yeah, I knew this was going to be a factor. I literally knew this was going to happen. To me, but I didn't have a play that could prevent him from subbing. Uh, I don't. I don't know why it like completely crossed my mind that I'm just so used to this one. So unfortunately, Never Ending Nightmare is gonna knock me out. My mana feet. Even under Veil, I'm pretty sure it's gonna go down. Half, but plus one. Getting up the rain doesn't even do anything for me. So he should never any nightmare here. But I don't have a switch. Oh he subs, okay, so he puts himself in range of my uh my bullet punch. Okay, this this got a little bit easier, I think. Cause I lived that. Yeah, uh, if he had never any nightmare, he should have went for it, but obviously he didn't because it's not like very uh interesting set. Uh but alright, so we're back in this game. I think it should have been over immediately, but we're back in this game. Uh, if he wants to go something like Garchomp, if it's Fire Fang, I, I have to go Conqueror anyway after uh, to take a hit and hopefully mock punch him. If he goes Garchomp right now, 
I think I always... No, I always surf because I do have double priority in the back. So Raptor gives me an SD with Scizor. Which is a problem because Nidoking can't knock out Kong. And that means I could weaken that. Am I fun? I'm really offensive Scizor, right? No, I'm a really defensive Scizor on this Aurora Veil team. I think that makes sense. Weak to Lando. Why not? Scizor House of that, I guess, is Zygarde too. I'd go Nido King here because I think it pressures the team the most. I feel like. Uh, because getting in Nido King when they're one more turn or Aurora Veil is better, I think, than getting in something like. Garchomp, for example, because I can actually live a hit from Garchomp with my Kartana. What I would give to be Timmy Kartana right now. Man, this could have been a lot easier. Uh, it had... Basically, had I... Uh, I don't know, Staratha just threw me off. But it makes sense. It was webs. Had I, you know, anticipated it to be that set, what I would have done was lead nine tails, and I think just play my luck with hypnosis. But we'll just surf right here. Earth power knocks me out. I can go conk with dirt. I hate to go conk right now, but got ice punch. He has no ice punch switchings anyway. Uh, Bisharp isn't an ice punch switching because it goes down to mock punch after. And I do live the hit from Needle King anyway. So maybe SD, depending on the Garchomp set, but it should be SD Fire Fang, I think, or Ground Eon. Um, Depending on the guard chops that we could do something. I want to keep my mock punch alive, but he does go hard Bisharp. Which is odd to me because I'm just going to mock punch you anyway. Do I even have to mock punch? Let me just drain, I'll drain punch because uh, either way I get back recovery. Right here, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So I have to keep Cock alive because I think it's the only thing that can eat a hit from Needle King. Uh, if he doesn't go Needle King right now, of course. Yeah, he does go Star Raptor, which is what I anticipated. Uh, Conk is the only thing that can eat a hit from that, so I got from Needle King, so I gotta keep that thing alive. Jesus, that is so much. Mega Scissor, are you trying to uh, try to pick up this KO now, bro? Trying to pick up this KO re recoil? I'd very much appreciate that. It's not gonna do it. Oh, it did do it. Awesome. So right here, I have a decision to make. Um, if he's not Fire Fang on Garchomp, then Kartana beats it. If he goes Needle King and I go Kartana, I lose. Because Needle King is faster. If he goes Garchomp and I go Gartana and he doesn't have Fire Fang, I win. Because I claim a kill. Could be Mega Garchomp too. If he goes Needle King and I go Conquer, I should be able to live one Earth Power and I click Ice Punch. But he could also switch back out into Garchomp right there. So I also have a decision to make is do I Drain Punch into Mock Punch. There's a lot to think about right now. And... Uh, All-out attacker. Uh, drain Punch and the Mach Punch does not knock him out. Because otherwise I go this and Drain Punch. And the reason I say Drain Punch over Ice Punch is because if he wanted to go to something like Garchomp on the Switch. Uh, so I think it comes down to this turn right here depending on his set. Okay, what does my gut tell me? And then I'm going to go with the opposite of it. I think the safe play is for me going Conqueror, so I'm going Kartana. Yep. Alright, let's just hope he's not Z. Or a fire move. If he is, then we lose. He is not, which means that we should win this game. <laughs> that was my thought process there, because whenever I go with the safe play, I feel, I lose. Whereas the old school me would always go the the luckier play. But, I mean, I still could still lose this game. Assuming... Assuming this boy eats. Ah, Conk still knocked out. Good game, dude. How did Conk go down? Oh, there's a roll with Sludge Wave, but it was more so in his favor. Oh, well. Uh, I'm okay with that. At least it came down to that roll as opposed to me just losing. Um, I do not mind that. That's fine. Uh, at least I got that one play right, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> All right, but this is still a lot of fun. Uh, so that was my bad, I think. Scizor is really good in this game. I really love Lando because Lele is a pain to deal with. And he actually leads Muck, which is amazing. Uh, I thought he would lead Lele, Heatran, or Scizor. But get up our rocks right here. This beast stays in. This beast. I'm going to double out to Ninetales. Expecting him to want to go out into, into his Scizor. Uh, Landers right now, excuse me. 
Uh, Suicune is also a fine play because this does give me Aurora Veil. That's funny, I wouldn't have mind taking Suicune right there. So the Pokemon that wins me this game right now is going to be my uh, Kartana. And I don't want him defogging. This is definitely his defogger. Bullet Punch does not knock me out through Veil. Uh, if I can prevent defog and land a Hypnosis, I will go for it. So, awesome. We're able to prevent that defog right there. We do land a Hypnosis. I don't need my Z-move on Kartana to win this game. So I'm going to go Manaphy right here. And I'm just going to throw off uh, Hydro Vortex right now. Because if I prevent the defog, I can win. Keeping up rocks as well as keeping up the veil. So, great. Like I said, I don't need my Z-move on Kartana to knock out anything. Uh, plus two Sacred Sword, Leaf Blade, Leaf Blade, Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword. So it should not matter. Ice Punch, Pursuit, Poison Jab, Knock Off. Counter. <laughs> nice. And we'll just knock off the incoming Heat Ran if it wants to come out. Um... What? There's no way you're not Pursuit. You're not Pursuit. You're Fire Punch? Oh, okay. Okay, bro. <laughs> that boy Ice Punch. He catches this knockoff again here. I'm about to say, hold up. What the hell was about to happen right there? Uh, looks like it's Z Heat Ram. Manaphy's still my safest play. Manaphy also just destroys him now that his Assault Vest is gone. I didn't want to go Nine Tails there, though. I knew I would take any hit. And I can just Surf right now. Surf is safe. He gives me Heat Ran, which makes my um, my Kartana even a bigger threat because it just clicks Leaf Blade, like I said. And as long as I keep Conquer there alive, uh, Lele can't sweep me with HP Fire. <coughs> Excuse me. Muck comes out. We always go Scizor. Could be offensive Lando. Doubles out to Lando right there. Solid play. I'm going to go Ninetales because if you SD up, that's a problem. And I think SD is the biggest pain for my team and by going nine tails i also prevent an sd plus rock polish he just uh drops his e so i go down yeah but at the same time i would go my own lando and just explode i'll risk his speed tie here just to get off the i should have just went manaphy what the hell was i doing uh, whatever we won the speed tie uh manaphy was faster i don't know what i was thinking right there but we get rid of lando which is awesome We'll go Scissor because I think it forces Kartana to click HP Fire. Lele, excuse me. To click HP Fire over Psychic. I would always click HP Fire over Psychic here. We'll see though. Uh, just clicks Focus Blast. I guess to hit mo more Pokemon on my team. And Hale does hit the Lele first, so we do find out that he is faster. We'll tell Glow Up on the... Well, he's actually going for multiple Focus Blasts. Wow. You beast. Guess because he can Psychic Spam? No, he can't. Well, one, the odds of this hitting. Plus two, the fact that I can go Conk right now and literally click Drain Punch. Uh, as Suicune is not a problem. Uh, it's going to come down to the Lele, but because I have three Pokemon, I should be good. Yeah, Suicune's not a problem because I'm Flame Warp. I just click Facade right here. You can Scald me, buddy. Does not do anything. And now I can just mock Punch the, uh, the Suicune. Knock him out. I didn't think he would go out into uh, Lele right there. And at this point, I feel like... Kartana is the most expendable member. Because if he HP fires, I can go right back out into Conquador and just click Facade again. And if he Psychics, Scizor eats the hit. He once again just clicks Focus Blast. Which means that Scizor eats the hit anyway. Yeah, for sure eats the hit now. And also he's stalling out his own terrain, so I just SD up. Yeah, he, he is actually stalling out his own terrain. I'm SD up again. Because you gotta go... He's not going muck. Why the hell is he not going muck? Like, th those were not the plays, in my opinion. I mean, I always bullet punch here, because now, now he has to click HP Fire, which Conquer 100% eats. He doesn't even switch out to reset the terrain to make it a 50-50. I'm not sure what's happening right here, boys. And girl. My bad, I gotta, gotta pay attention to my 4%. Yo, my voice is starting to feel better. I love it. My voice is starting to feel better, man. 
<laughs> I don't understand what was happening there. Like, why not? And maybe he didn't have HP fire. Let's just give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he didn't have HP fire. All right, so preventing uh, Veil means leading off with something like Taunt Coco. Oops. I should just do Smile next. I'm not your dad. If I was your dad, I definitely left you. <laughs> just Earthquake right here. Uh, if he wants the HPIs, I'd much rather get rid of the biggest threats on my team. Uh, though, man, if he can beat him. I put IO next, that way next battle, I don't even have to click anything. I can get up rocks versus the Lando, so yeah, I don't want to risk him being spec HP Ice, which is why I focus Ash Lando is okay to click Earthquake here. SD Scissor is very, very, very good in this game if I can get rid of the uh, Heat Ramp, which I think I pressure enough with the team. I love double Z on moves because, hello. I love double Z on moves. Why did I spell hello like that? Because it, it forces you to think, right? Like in this case, a regular surf for man if he can win, but also uh, the the Z water, Z rain dance, which gives me the speed, could also win if I get rid of Azu or at least put it at about forty percent. I want to say fifty percent. Hey, come on, man. I do. Appreciate that. I wouldn't be where I am without people watching my videos. And some smart investments. <laughs> yeah, if he was uh, Specs or Life Orb. Oh, great. So we get rid of Tapu Koko immediately. Amazing. Amazing giant threat. In fact, this also forces the. Uh, it might force Halucha in right now. I'm, I'm okay with going this game without rocks. I truly am. This may, in fact, force Halucha in early because his Electric Terrain is gone. So that's why I like versus that type of Pokemon, especially because Coco is so good versus my team. Uh, because Coco is so good versus my team, I, I, I'd I, much rather take that trade. Kartana. We'll go Scizor. For sure. We don't want to uh, give him a boost. For no reason. And if he's SD... I'm gonna bring in Ninetales right now. I think Ninetales also covers the lander switch. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, so, not only do we break Sashes, but Terrain is almost gone, and I get up the Veil prior to it. And it looks like he's left over his landers. Awesome. So, we get a Veil right now, and he only has one more turn of Electric Chain, which means he will not have the uh, Unburden boost. I'm okay with risking Hypnosis right now. On Fort. And now I'm trapped, so I have no reason but to risk Hypnosis. That was actually not the play, but because he's leftovers landers, it's, it's all right. Especially because uh, Terrain is gone, so he doesn't get an unburdened boost. Always has a weak in acrobatics versus me. And let me let me out. <laughs> let me out. Who hits Magma Storm? I hit more Hypnosis whenever I use Aurora Veil than I do Magma Storm. Oh, I obviously have no play but to stay in here as he gets the first turn awake immediately. Nice, nice, nice. I want Tail Glow up immediately. Uh, if he wants Toxic, that's no big deal. Oh, Taunt. Oh. So I can Z Rain Dance. I don't think I have enough turns of a Roarville left. I'm just going to Surf. Um, I I'm assuming that the Azu on his team is actually not Belly Drum, but in fact, uh, in fact, maybe the Kartana Stopper. Uh, what's it called? Sap Sivir. There it is. Which is all the only reason why I didn't go Kartana. But if he does give me this Heat Ran, and that is Scarf Kartana, he doesn't knock me out. I get rid of him. Uh, smart to sack Halucha as it does not do anything, seeing as how it does not have its unburden anymore. But I'm faster than Lando. I knock out this. I should live a Bloom Doom from Kartana. I should live a Bloom Doom from Kartana. And Azu doesn't knock me out, even if it's Z Belly of Drones. I just surf. Twice, I think. Well, we'll find out if I leave. Uh, we'll find out if this isn't Scarf. I think it would be Scarf on this team, though. And maybe Z Belly Drum Azu. And if I get rid of Kartana, then. Well, one mana fee is already. Doesn't care, but. He does not crit me, which means that I get to get rid of this boy. I still have Kartana in the back for the Azu, which I'm pretty sure is. Uh, I'll just Psychic, I guess. I'm pretty sure it's Z Belly Drum, so it won't matter. Wait, can I use this move just to use it? I want to see how much it does. Because Kartana wins the game anyway. 
Is it actually Z belly drum? It is Z belly drum. Uh, so he has to go for the uh, Aqua Jet versus me. Uh, but because he's Z belly drum, I can keep my Manaphy alive to just surf Heat Ramp and Lando. Sack the uh, sack my own landers right here. Getting Cartana. Click Leaf Blade. I actually shouldn't have clicked my Z because I could have clicked it versus Lando. But we'll go Cartana right now. Click that Leaf Blade, and then my Conqueror wins the game anyway. So what if he's Saps and Rebelli drone? Nobody runs that. That's not good. You don't get that much attack, man. Does that even like bust like a thousand attack? Barely, right? You don't get that much attack if you're Saps. Anyway, um, I always leaf later because if he switches, odds is not a threat anymore. Yes, I can belly drum again, but it'll be at one HP versus like two priority users and a grass type with ridiculous defense, but bad special defense. My bad kid is rocks. I know you always punish me whenever I say Cartana has poor defenses, even though I'm obviously talking about the special defense of Cartana. Uh, if he goes here, right? Oh, he goes Lando. That's fine. Uh, like I said, Scissor wins, Conk wins. I can just SD up here. I'll live in an Earthquake. As he actually opts the U-turn, which means that... I'm pretty sure he's going back on a Lanners, but I don't think I need to predict it at this point. Yeah, because right now I have a regular Leaf Blade. Like a really strong Leaf Blade versus him. Yep, which is a solid 2 KO. As HP Ice. Doesn't do crap. Uh, it doesn't matter if he goes here right here. I get my plus one. Uh, we knock out Heatran with the Surf after Sacred Sword. And then we just go for the regular Surf versus Azumarill, which prevents it from... Oh, it just knocks it out anyway. They probably did knock it out regardless. But if the crit didn't matter, my bad. Uh, but at that point, Manaphy won the game anyway. And we'll just go for the, the, the Leaf Blade right here. Good game. So I think what he should have tried... I, I understand him switching out, but I think he also should have tried to... Uh, Get damage on Cartana, maybe? Uh, he didn't have any way of winning. At that point, I had Conkleder. If, like, Azu went down, then Conkleder literally came in, clicked Drain Punch, clicked Ice Punch, clicked Facade. There, were, there was nothing he could do at that point, I feel. Uh, but let's go ahead and look for another one. That was a fun one. I love Aurora Veil because it's really fast-paced games, but it's also, like, it puts you in, I don't want to say high-pressure situation because it's Pokemon. What high-pressure situations are there? Have fun. That's why we play the game, right? But it puts you in these situations where... Uh, ooh, cool team. Assault Vest, SD, Scarf Grin, or Battle Bond. Anyway, it puts you in these situations where you can, um, you have to ex predict, right? Uh, hey. So if he loses Heat Ran, he just loses to Cartana and uh, Scissor, mainly Scissor, because uh, Greninja. It's Harris. Not fun. Okay. I'd lead Heatran versus me or Sash Greninja. I'm going to lead off with my Lanners. If he leads Lottie, I'll also boom on that. He does lead Greninja. Which I will boom on. Uh, goes for the Water Shuriken. Oh no. Gets the two times though. And Greninja is pretty much gone. So, uh, we'll definitely go out into our Ninetales right now because Hale would have been able to knock him out. That was a really risky play turn one. It actually just put him in range of like what I need for uh, my scissors. So we shall get up our Aurora Veil right now as the Heat Rain is going to come out. Uh, Magma Storm, most likely. I don't see a reason not to go Lando. I can get up rocks. And then boom on Latios. And that's also one of the drawbacks of that turn for my opponent. Magma Storm misses, which is why that move is absolutely terrible. Uh, but we'll get up our rocks right here. Which forced the Gren to go down. And it looks like this is more than likely Scarf Lantern, so I want to say. Oh, it's Leftovers. Wow. Okay, so we'll SD up here. As long as I get a Veil, I'm not worried about this. Yeah, I, I, I'm not worried about this, especially because I get to go out into... Uh... You should go Hard Conquer there, I think. Not Hard Conquer there. Hard Bulu, I feel. Well, Cartana just smacks him. Uh... Surf is a no drawback play. I don't want him U-turning on my Tail Glow, uh, expecting me to Tail Glow on the Bulu, uh, because Bulu actually doesn't appreciate Ice Beams even if it is Assault Vest. He could go Hard Latios. I go Hard Latios, but again, if he opts to stay in, I get rid of Landorus, which means that he can't pivot around on uh, Conqueror. 
at all. Like, I'll just click Drain Punch versus everything, man. Or Facade, rather, excuse me. So I'm going to Surf here. I don't want to tell Glow and have him U-turn. I kind of doubt he U-turn. I think he should go Harbulu or even Latios, rather. Uh, but Latios is also interesting because... It goes down to my double priority. It's like at 1% as well. Talking about Greninja, excuse me. If he uh, if he defogged with Latios, I was sorry. I was thinking a couple turns ahead. <laughs> Let me explain myself. Uh, but Hard Bulu, which gives me Scizor. I want a nasty. I want a Tail Gold so badly. Alright, at this point, let me let me do it. Yep. Because I figured the Heat Ran double was coming because Scizor is just screaming. It's actually just screaming Scizor. Like, hello. Uh, so we'll be able to click our Surf twice. Surf twice should be able to knock out the uh, Latios. Yep. If he wants to defog, so be it. If he wants to Draco, that doesn't matter. Thunder Waves me. I have Rain Dance, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, but we get rid of Latios, which means no defog for him unless Landers is defog, which I doubt it. Uh, Bulu comes out. Which gives me Scizor. Which gives me Nine Tails. Which gives me Aurora Veil. Hey. I'm actually glad he hit that first one. I mean, I'm glad I hit that one too. Alright, let's just spam Freeze Dry until he wakes up right turn one. Yep. Uh, but I'm actually glad he woke up right there because that also means I can go for Hypnosis again. Unfortunately, miss out on it but uh we'll be able to go out into our mana fee and get up the rain this is very important especially because sd cartana just wins uh but this also means that my mana fee isn't worried about this at all so assuming we get a brain we'll get rid of the paralysis right here hey hydration also weakening is fire type attack by the way so scissor always comes out Mega Evolve and Knock Off. As he goes, Grin. I don't mind as long as I'm Mega. I can deal with uh, the Mawile. And like I said, I do have Karton in the back as well. Um, if he wants to go out into Heat Ran, that's fine. If he wants to go Lando, I go Manaphy. Goes hard, Heat Ran. Rocks. Eh, you know what? Whatever. One, Rain is up. Two, Magma Storm misses. Three, like, this is fine. He actually Bloom moves immediately. So, a little bit sad about the, the mon I ended up going out into, but I can definitely mock punch this. I'm gonna ice punch here though, because I don't think you should stay in. If he earth powers, he earth powers, but I get a boost anyway. And I would go Lano, yes, exactly. Expecting the mock punch. So, basically what I'm trying to set up for is the... Uh... Does this kill? This should still kill. Yep. I don't think that could matter at all. But I'm just trying to set up for the uh, the Kartana sweep. And if he goes Mawile and SDs, he goes Bulu first. Just Drain Punch here. At that point, Heeran is no longer a counter. Yeah, because I can knock. Though it doesn't do crap because of his item. Hmm. But what can he do? Solar Beam me or double back? Like... If he doubles back, then Rock's put him in range. I'll just rain dance up again, too. Because, like I said, he ran... It, 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 there comes a point where he ran can no longer double in. Or come back. Because the fact that it already uses Bloom Doom, which is for Solar Beam. We'll double out to Kartana. As he goes Mawile. Which is fine. Uh, and we'll just Sacred Sword to weaken it. Sacred Sword to weaken it for my... Uh, for my what's it called? Mall on the back. Does plus two knock me out? Eighty eight to one oh three. That Bloom Doom knocks him out. Doesn't even bother going for it. Nice. So we'll go for Bloom Doom. That definitely knocks him out. And it gives me an attack raise. And it also means I just get to Leaf Blade Bulu and just win the game right there. I think he had to go for Sucker Punch, but I don't think he also expected me to be uh, Z on this. But yeah, that's the thing. Thought you would click X. -er. <laughs> 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 
boy was like thought you were four of it, man. Nah, but I just clicked Leaf Blade here. Uh, Super Power doesn't knock me out. Either way, um, Scissor wins the game. Dad, there's so much damage. But yeah, he had to sucker right there and go for the roll. Go ahead and give me another beast boost. And, uh, yep, I mean, what do we learn from this episode? Magma Storm is a trash move. It is a trash move, but we've learned that a long time. The only time Magma Storm is acceptable is in DVP when it's actually strong enough to validate the, uh, the accuracy. Like, the crappy accuracy. But I do hope you guys all enjoyed this showdown live. Was a lot of fun. I, of course, did enjoy. Love using Aurora Veil. Um, PM, thank you so much for the team. Conkler put in a bit of work right there, uh, as well as the, uh, Manaphy. Manaphy put in a ton of work. But, uh... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, like I said, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.